Hello folks, it's Cody Wadzik, yet again, here with The Crooked Cook. Anyway, um, hey, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. I love doing this for you folks, and uh, I hope you folks enjoy what I'm doing as well. Anyway, so tonight, this episode, we are going to be doing burgers. Uh, burgers especially inspired by, inspired by Bob's Burgers. Now, one of the reasons I love Bob's Burgers, if, if one of the major reasons, A, it's just, it's just funny as hell, B, you know, Bob's just a struggling restaurateur who's just get to, trying to get his business to stay afloat. And C, let's just face it, Bob is actually one of the best fathers in TV right now. I mean, he tries hard, he works hard, he's the butt of the jokes, but gosh darn it, you know, he, he tries his best. So, so tonight, I'm not going to do anything from the Bob's Burgers cookbook that uh, Mr. Kyle Anderson happened to loan me. So I'm going to do some burgers inspired by Bob's Burgers this time. And um, if you folks have any burgers that come up, and, and the other thing I love about Bob's Burgers is they have to come up with a burger of the day for every episode, or burger of the week for every episode. And that's a hard thing to do. Just try to not run up, try not to run out of ideas. It's a tough gig, trust me. So I'm gonna do two burgers tonight. One of them is called the Bruschetta of Mouth Burger, which is basically a burger with bruschetta toppings. Now, as I cook, I'm going to talk. So, what is a bruschetta, you ask? Well, if you, well, a bruschetta is very simple. It's actually, uh, it's from Italy. And basically what you have is you have your oven roasted or sun-dried tomatoes, kind of marinated in some olive oil and garlic. You have a garlic clove. You have a goat cheese. And then you have a chiffonade basil. Chiffonade! And then I whip up a little bit of uh, garlic aioli for the burger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook this burger here like so. I know they say don't press, but I need to kind of flatten it out a little bit for easier cooking time. And honestly, there is no problem, there is no sin in using a lid to cover. That way it cuts down the backboard noise. So, anyhow, I'm also going to use, not to add for cross-contamination, I just touched raw beef. I'm going to put it on a little Kaiser roll there. So basically, I'm just going to use uh, bruschetta to, uh, you know, top off, top off a burger. Now, bruschetta is very simple. It's a very, it's a, it's a wonderful Italian dish. It's uh, basically toasted, toasted, crunchy bread with Parmesan cheese melted on it. And a lot of times they serve with garlic clove and a side of these oven roasted or sun dried tomatoes uh, in a bowl, and, and uh, have some goat cheese on top of it as well. Now, you can do sun-dried tomatoes, you can buy them from the store, or you can do your own oven roasted tomatoes by simply grabbing a Roma tomato, I'm not gonna demonstrate, slicing it up into quarters, coating it with some salt, putting it into a slow heated oven, like about 250 degrees, until they get nice and crunchy in about the size of this. You know, about the size of the tip of your thumb. And then, after that, you put those into olive oil and maybe some minced garlic, and let it sit for like a day or so. Then you have your bruschetta tomatoes, and then you chiffonade some chiffonade some garlic some uh, basil right here. And where I work, we have we have goat cheese, uh, but what we do is we roll it into a patty, mix it with some herbs like oregano, thyme, rosemary, and make it into a patty, and then dip it into flour and egg, and coat it with a uh, with a walnut crust. And it's actually very wonderful. Uh, bruschetta is one of those foods that was actually peasant food for the longest time. Yet now the rich have co-opted, co you know, to make it a delicacy. So, I'm going to flip the burger over here, like so. And then I'm going to put my goat cheese on top of the burger patty, like so. Just kind of, you can use your hands, kind of put that out like that. And the reason I like putting the cheese right on top of the burgers because it has a nice, melty, creamy consistency. So, while we're doing that, sounds like the burger is about done cooking. We don't want to overcook it, folks. Just have it be a nice, like, medium rare. I'm going to pull that off like that. Set this aside. Now, in the in the grease that we have the um, that we have the in the grease that we have here, we're just gonna t 
toast the buns right quick. And while we're doing that, what we're gonna do with the burger itself is put some of the tomatoes on top. Yes, I said tomatoes. A little chiffonade basil. Um, one of these days I will teach you guys how to, or you folks, how to properly chiffonade basil. In fact, I want to do an entire cooking tutorial about this. And then we have our oven roasted garlic over here. So for the basic build, just toast these up a little bit. Just a few more seconds on that. Remove the detritus. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some garlic aioli. On the bottom bun, nice and toasted. You don't want to go too much. That's it there for a second. So now there's a very important reason why you put aioli or mayonnaise or something on the bottom bun of the burger, and that's because it creates a fat layer. Um, I learned this from Alton Brown, not personally, just through his wonderful TV show. You put a fat layer down so that way moisture doesn't really affect the um, you know the, the bottom of the bun because how many times have we had a burger and the bottom bun just falls out you know it's a really horrible thing so we put our fat layer of garlic aioli now aioli is very simple to make you can make it in your blender basically aioli is a fancy, <clears throat> excuse me a fancy term for mayonnaise it's basically egg yolks emulsified with oil and you, what you do is is you you turn on your your blender drop the egg yolks in, and then slowly, slowly, slowly emulsify the oil in, and then you throw a little bit of garlic in. That's an aioli, very simple. Basically homemade mayonnaise. So we're going to put our fat layer down of garlic aioli. Set down a nice leaf of lettuce. Yeah, it's maybe rip it in half, why not? And since we already have tomatoes on this burger, we don't need more tomatoes. I'm gonna slide this on top. And then, for the finish, our oven roasted garlic. So what you do with the oven roasted garlic is, what we do at the restaurant is, we get the garlic, cut off the top, and we put it in a double boiler. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a little bit of a fat layer, again, the aioli, just a smidge, a little bit like that. And then I'm going to get some of these roasted garlic cloves, kind of pull them out like so. Just use your knife. And roasted garlic is a wonderful thing to have. If you know how to make roasted garlic, it comes in handy in so many recipes. It's amazing. And I love garlic. Actually, really quick, um, funny story I have from my uh, cooking experience. There was this guy who, um, he comes up to me, and he goes, I like car caramel, 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 I don't remember. Anyway, and he's like, hey, dude, try this out. This is really good. I made this for dessert. I'm like, oh, yeah, dude, score. I love caramel. And it turned out to be an like an entire bowl of roasted garlic puree. And when you expect it to be one thing and it tastes like another, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love roasted garlic, but at the same time, it's like I was expecting caramel. And I was just like, you jerk off. Oh, I hate you. You jerk off. That type of thing. So I'm going to set that aside. And so here we have our bruschetta face burger, which is bun, garlic aioli, burger, goat cheese on top, oven roasted tomatoes, a little bit of chiffon basil, and some pureed garlic on top. We're just going to set that there. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, and now we have the bruschetta face burger. And tonight we're going to have not only my lovely assistant, but a really good friend of mine, AJ Clayson, who is a professional chef. Try this out. So, bruschetta face burger. Got the sun dried tomatoes, the goat cheese, the basil, garlic aioli. Let's slice that like that. And, oh. Does not look amazing. Mm. So what I'm going to do, slice this one in half. Uh, 
Knife skill's not pending. I've got just turn to shit. Don't admit your mistakes. <laughs> so, if you two would like to take out a sample, thank you. Tell me what you think. Thank you, Chef. Oh my gosh. I love the audience reaction. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're making this again. Okay. <laughs> Good one. Oh, here. Allow me, German sorry. Oh, thank you. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. All oh right. my god. If I had anything, toast the bread a little bit more, but. Alright. It's good. It's a good medium rare cook. I completely agree. Did you make the tomatoes yourself? Uh, no, actually, I procured them from work. Oh, okay. But, you know, it's very. But easy. they were homemade. Yes, they're house made. Yeah, they're not real jar. Okay, well, they, they definitely do taste. Mm. Hold on, I like the goat cheese. <laughs> Excuse me. Where did you get the goat cheese? Work. Same thing. From, from work. I procured. <laughs> I procured it from somewhere. <laughs> from somewhere. <laughs> some from some. Hey, it fell out the back of a truck. Whatever you know. Hey, sh. Hey, I'm walking face. here. <laughs> yeah, hey, you shitty face, man. That's, that's a unique flavor for a burger, actually. I love that, and can I have the other half? Well, I need to take a bite as well. Oh, oh yeah. I should probably sample my own wares. I like it. All right, thank you. Compliments from Caesar. Good, good, uh, did you say Caesar? It said praise from Caesar. No, Caesar. All right, that'll be mine. I, I don't want to get stabbed. <laughs> oh, wait, it's past March, so you won't. Mmm. Actually, I do like the flavor profile on this. I like the basil and the tomatoes. And the goat cheese. I mean, I know a lot of people does, don't like goat cheese, but I personally do. This is I think it's very surprisingly sad. amazing, because I was like thinking of like mixed burgers here, and this just works. And I like how the goat cheese adds the um, salt on it, because goat cheese has a nice salt. Mm -hmm. It does, and a lot of people don't like goat cheese. I personally love mm -hmm. goat cheese. Yeah, I do too. And we're going to critique, be on camera. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Both yeah. of you. Yeah, you're going to critique, be on I'm camera. I'm saying the goat cheese is, it adds a fabulously rich element of salt to the, <laughs> to the, to the meat. And then the, the, the tomatoes are, are really well done, actually. I'm, I'm you. thoroughly impressed. That's, mm. that's a good, that's a good burger. Mm hmm this is a tasty burger.